Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. I just wrapped up week four of Me Made May and I've got a lot of fun outfits to show you. Monday's dress might seem familiar and that's because I accidentally posted it in week three. I'm not sure how that happened, but I definitely wore this on Monday and not on Sunday like I said last week. I cannot remember for the life of me what I wore on Sunday though. I really should start writing these down. Instagram is not a reliable enough source. As a refresher, this is McCall's 7160 in Double Brush Poly from Cali Fabrics. On Tuesday, I wore these super cute shorts. It is out of an out of print Melissa Watson for Palmer Plush pattern, McCall's 6965. Palmer Plush makes patterns with fitting tips and alteration lines printed right on the pattern. So I was able to get a really good fit even though it's a separate and shorts for that matter. I really should try to convert these to a skirt since the waistband fits so well. They are light and breezy thanks to the 100% rayon fabric. I know it's a chalet and I think I got it from fabric.com. Wednesday was a casual day, so I threw on some ready-to-wear cut-off shorts and a cute top. It's Simplicity 1613 in an art gallery knit. It fits fine unless I raise my arms even a little bit. When I do that, it comes up onto my shoulders and it's kind of a mess. I can't tell if this would be resolved if the band across the shoulders were larger or if the knit were stretchier. I'm tempted to try it though because I do love the look of this top. On Thursday, I filmed the dress I made for the sew along, so that's what I wore all day. You can watch the full pattern review, including alterations I'd make for the next version in the video that's linked in the top right corner. I do truly love my dress and found it to be super cool and comfortable even as the temperatures continued to rise last week. I kicked off Memorial Day weekend in my Dear and Doe Maya Sotis dress in white embroidered cotton from Stylemaker Fabrics. She just restocked this fabric, so check the description box for a link if you are interested. When I first made this dress back in February, I knew it'd be in heavy rotation and I was right. I reach for it all the time when I want to be cool and comfortable. As a follow-up to last year's headband tutorial, I'll be filming one for this little cutie soon. It's a very similar technique, so if you made the first one, you'll find this one to be super simple. On Saturday, I went to a street fair that was part of NASCAR's Coca-Cola 600 race weekend where I wore my beloved refashion using Butterick 6447. I'm a bad vlogger and forgot to film it before I left the house and by the time I got back, it was dark. But lucky for all of you, my friend filmed me tightening the lug nuts of a race car. It was one of the experiences they had there for everyone to try. And for the record, I did two tires in 13 seconds. I think that with some practice, I could be on the track in no time. <laughs> on Sunday, we went to the actual Coca-Cola 600 NASCAR race. It was 98 degrees that day, not including the heat index. And I don't know about you, but I don't like wearing me maids on days when I know I'm going to be sweating a lot. Sweat speeds up the wear of the garment and I need them to last a long time. So I broke the Me Made May rules just this one day and wore all ready to wear, but I still looked cute. So I wanted you guys to see what I wore. And that wraps up our penultimate week of Me Made May. I'll be back on Sunday to show you what I wore for week five. Until then, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.